It is time now for the random and do I mean oh so random thoughts <laughs> of my six o'clock co-anchor Steve Spreester in Spree Thoughts tonight. Okay, Steve, this week, beer, music, and mystery. You bet your leader hose and Myra. I was at the Fiesta Media Day on Wednesday and ran into a group dressed in traditional German outfits. It brought me back to a foamy mystery from almost four years ago, a beer garden massacre that never really came to a head. A fine Pilsner problem that led to our own Adam Kasky simply tapping out. You see, it all started, Adam invited to the Beethoven Manor Corps for the ceremonial tapping of the keg. Simple, right? Well, hold on to that beer stein. And for those beer lovers out there, shield your eyes. It's not pretty. Hold on. There we go. It goes on this way for a while. <laughs> I think it's in there. This is a lot harder than back in college. Yeah. Yeah. Kasky failed, and the poor band and singers behind him, they just oompahed on. He blamed the tap at the time, but seeing these Lederhosen-clad ambassadors of German brew this week and culture brought it all back to me. I was curious about that Kasky colossal fail and the Beethoven Manor Corps. We're the, known as the place where there's a lot of Gemütlichkeit, which means fellowship. David Euler, Euler is a member of the Manor Corps and one of their biggest supporters. The Manor Corps started in 1867. The Beethoven Manor Corps was founded by German settlers and now sits in the heart of King William. They also have the Daumen Corps, which is for women. They have First Friday events, Fiesta events, German heritage events. They're singing. There's German culture and heritage and language. But there's also the beer and the wine. <laughs> we have that. We had 10 kinds of German beer on tap. We have uh, German wine. Uh, we have food. We have bratwurst. We have uh, schnitzel occasionally, that type of thing, too. So we're about eating and drinking in fellowship. Eating, drinking, and fellowship. Preserving German, German culture and heritage. They even sing in German. You don't have to be German to belong, which leads me back to Kasky and the keg. All right, we're gonna Adam Kasky said this keg catastrophe was caused by the wrong tap. My new Beethoven Manicor friends? At Beethoven, we have a little bit different explanation for what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> not, the, right, not the tap. Yeah, yeah. I think that was it. Yeah. Did you see that? The hand motion there? I, I sure did notice that. Yes. Not the tap, but the tappy. <laughs> hmm. Mystery solved. A place where fellowship and community is celebrated. And I'll drink to that. Pros it. Pros it. Pros it. Pros it indeed. So what did I learn, Myra? What did you learn? Steve? I learned that the Beethoven Manicor is a city treasure. They consider themselves the Beethoven family, and there are two sides to every tap. What is it? Prost? Is that what we say? Prost. Yeah. Prost. It's root beer. Okay. It is, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't, didn't want people to think, beer. you know. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to indulge. Yeah. Because I don't like it. But thank you for sharing. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So you said you don't have to be German, but these folks are talented. Do you have to sing to be part of this group? No. They have 50 singing members, male and female, 450 non singing members. They have a club room where members can have their own stein filled with the German beverage of their choice. And I don't know if you heard Adam Kasky yelling over there. Did you oh, hear I him did. yelling? I sure did. I think I even saw him imitating the motion of yeah. what went wrong that night. Still to this day, he insists it's the tap. Mm. He did say they didn't try with that tap. Well, a fine craftsman doesn't blame his tools. <laughs> Some mystery may <laughs> remain, folks. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. When you're in college, yeah. He's a okay. handy guy. That's what Caskey wants us to know. We'll be right back.